All right, everybody, how's it going here? Ecom Tom back with another video for you guys. And if you guys have been paying attention to my videos a lot lately, you do realize that I have been changing up a little bit about what I've been doing. I'm trying not to focus 100% on eBay drop shipping as much as I am just trying to diversify in general. And I really think that you guys should also try to pursue that as well and try to always put your eggs in more than just one basket. Um, so where I'm at right now is I started eBay dropshipping at the beginning of the month. Uh, and before I get into it, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Tom Cormier. I've been dropshipping on eBay for well over a year now and have started to really branch out. You know, I am called Ecom Tom, so I can't, I'm not eBay Tom. So I'm trying to branch out into other things such as Amazon dropshipping at the moment. And I really haven't gotten too into Amazon dropshipping. It took me probably around seven months just to even get into it or six months just to get into it. I bought a course on it. I really did a little bit of work on it, but I, I, didn't, I didn't really pay attention, didn't put a full effort into it. But once the sales started to drop on eBay at the beginning of November, which mine have started to come back, I've, I've did I think 5,000, 5,500 in sales on eBay uh, multiple days since, you know, in the past week. And but you know, you, the, the falls like that really get you scared and they don't want, I don't want to be stuck like that. So I've been using, I started Amazon drop shipping and I should have posted some of my results. So I might pause the video at some point and bring up my results. So I've done almost 6,000 in sales since I started November 12th. I think it was November 12th is when I sold my first item. I went on vacation or a little bit of a, you know, a weekend getaway. And I think I ended up turning off my store for about five days and since then, you know, I've had one day that was Cyber Monday at over a thousand in sales. I've done almost six thousand in sales so far. Some of the items were pretty good profits. Some of them losses. Some of them average profits that you would expect. I've only done or been doing Walmart onto Amazon, and that's it at the moment. I know that there's a ton of other suppliers out there that I really should get into, but I really wanted to learn the whole system first and get used to it. But and I knew that I already knew Walmart onto eBay, so Walmart onto Amazon should be just as much. Um, just, just, just as easy. So what programs do I use? That's one of the biggest pr uh, question I've gotten so far about what programs do I use? And in this video, I'm going to go over this tool web scraper app that I've been using. And this is a great tool. This is an amazing tool, mainly because of how simple it is and how reliable it is. Also the owner CEO, Ron Myers of web scraper app is probably the most helpful CEO I've seen on, out of any, any program so far. He has been with me since day one, teaching me what to do, helping me with any questions, going live with me, doing video chats with me, making sure that I was as accommodated as possible and getting started on Web Scraper app. I know that they do onboardings for everybody that gets started, so there's really no reason not to start. There's a seven day free trial for this, and I mean, yeah, I'm gonna get into explaining it. So what is Web Scraper app? So most people uh, probably know me or that are watching this channel are used to eBay drop shipping programs like Sale Freaks, Web Seller Guru, things like that. They track and monitor the prices, the items prices, and they also will reprice for them. Amazon's a little bit different with the way that the, some of the programs work. Web Scraper app is the monitor. It, you put your items into it. You put your items on Amazon, you put your items into it, and it will monitor the prices of all your items just like any other repricing tool. But it will not reprice your items at the moment. What you have to do is use another program. I use Informed, Informed.co it is. It used to be called App Eagle. if you guys have ever heard of that. And basically, Web Scraper app every hour will send over its information, what changed, what didn't change, over to Informed. Informed does the repricing. You set your repricing just laws and strategies that way, and that's how you, your items get just tracked and repriced. So Web Scraper app is very, very, very essential for this, and Informed doesn't do that on its own. Informed, I'm pretty sure, is primarily was primarily made for people that were actually just selling things on Amazon and just trying to stay competitive with their price. <clears throat> So let's get into a few things about Web Scraper app. What is the pricing? First off, I mean, like I already said, there is a seven day free trial and I wanna get into a little bit of the pricing here. So after your seven day free trial, you're gonna to have to pick a plan and some of the plans right here are the smallest one is the intro, 500 products, $119 a month. And you guys may say, hey, these prices are a little bit more expensive than something like a DSM tool or a web seller guru from the start, but I can guarantee you that you will make that money back if you're doing everything properly because I have right now, only I think it's 80 active items or maybe 90 something active items and I've pulled some like $40 profits on some items I've definitely made over $119 to cover this since I started selling and I don't I'm not even using one-fifth of the actual amount a lot amount of items I'm pretty sure I have the starter plan at $200 a month but also if you are concerned about the price do not worry because I have already worked a deal for you guys like I try to do with every single program that I push for you guys 
I only push you guys, push programs towards you guys that I personally use and that I personally think are the best ones out there at that given point in time for what we're trying to do. And this is one of the best deals that I've gotten out of any single program yet so far. And it is 30% off for what I believe is a year, but I'm not 100% positive on the time frame. but I do know it's 30% off a month. And <clears throat> I actually signed up under my own affiliate code for my, uh, for my plan. So let's get into a little bit about what is inside of web scraper app and just showing a little bit about it. I'm going to end up editing out some of the things, but I don't want to be clicking around to all just all the different tabs because of the fact that it would just end up me editing so, so much. So when you first get onto web scraper app, I mean, if you're, there's going to be a dashboard and when you look at the dashboard, I mean, it gives you your sales, yada, yada, whatever you want, what to see, want to see. It only gives you your sales once you put in the tracking information on the orders for that day. So as you can tell that like, I think I had an item that went negative and I've only put in four tracking today. So I actually made a profit of only $5 for the day on four orders, but you know, there is cash back and I think there was a negative profit in there or, some, or something that went wrong. So I think I've completed 45 orders, but there's 11 more that have been processed. So altogether I've sold 56 items and I've canceled one. So that's my extensive Amazon dropshipping career. And as I said, I, I'm not an expert in this. I'm just giving you guys what I have been using because I've already made some posts about it and there's been so many questions about it already. So that's the dashboard. After the dashboard, I think it's over here is the inventory. So the inventory is basically just gonna show you all of your items, what the supplier is, the product name, the ASIN number on Amazon, the SKU. You can give it your own SKU. You can have Amazon make you a SKU or whatever. I, I forget how that really works. So I just been making my own SKU. Um, and then, the price, if there's a shipping cost, Walmart, you know, if it's under $35, will be five and a half, five dollars and ninety nine cents for shipping. The date I think is that you listed it or the last date it was repriced because they're all giving me dates of today. So it must've been the date that it was last repriced. And there's some actions you can do. You can delete it. You can check the actual info on it. You can check the URL for it at the supplier's URL. You can view the history and you can then delete it. Um, from there, it basically just gives you all your suppliers. Like I said, I've only signed up for Walmart. There's also this cool thing called the Walmart variation checker. So as you may or may not know, if you're on Walmart and your item has say four different variations like colors or whatever, each one of those has a unique URL and you can find it by putting the main URL into the Walmart variation checker. The file transfer, basically, so this is the Walmart variation checker. We can just let that load. It's not really gonna show you much. You just put in the Walmart URL here. The file transfer is how you upload and get your files onto Web Scraper app so that it can start uh, monitoring the price. From there, the test URL doesn't have to be a Walmart variation or anything like that. It can be from any of the suppliers that Web Scraper app supports. And then bundles, I'm pretty positive is brand new. And from there, you can bundle together items. I'm not really sure how that works because I think that just popped up in the last two days. But I do, I have heard a lot of good things about bundles, so I really do need to learn that. So that'll be another video or possibly in a course at some point in time. And so from there, there's basically orders, Amazon orders, process, completed, canceled. I'm not gonna really go through that. And I don't think that's really the scope of the video. So what, are, what suppliers does Web Scraper app handle and how, how, how extensive is it? I would say it's pretty damn extensive. So right now, like I said, I've only logged in or added the record of Walmart. I've put a zero tax rate because I'm tax exempt in almost every state. The handling time is five days because it's the holidays is what I upped it to and the restocking quantity is to 10. I don't really know if that makes that much of a difference. But so the supplier codes is where you really want to look. And these are all of the suppliers that it that Web Scraper app can handle. I don't even know what ABT is, AliExpress, Air and Water, I don't know what that is, Bed Bath & Beyond, haven't heard great things about it, Beauty Choice, Lane's Farm & Fleet. This one's kind of got me interested. I kind of want to look into it, but um. Not really sure how good it is. So if anybody knows how good it is, please let me know. Uh, if Blaine's Farm and Fleet is good. It just seems like one of those ones out there that could be possibly good. Bang Good, I mean, I've heard pretty mixed reviews about it. Bic Warehouse, no clue what that is. Build, Belk, don't know what that is. BJ's, obviously, I hope, if you live in the US, I think you would know what BJ's is. Bye Bye Baby is actually owned by, uh, what is it called? Bed Bath & Beyond. Then from there, there's Clean It Supply. I don't know what that is. There's a ton of different things, but all the big main ones and then a lot of just smaller ones. The Exporting Goods, Costco, Mills Fleet Farm. We got another farm thing. Uh, I, I'm not really sure. What I'm really interested in is I'm interested in Newegg and Newegg Business. I think that they're going to have some pretty good, just pretty good items in general. I've heard some things about LTD commodities, but I'm not really sure. Jet, I've heard sucks. Um, Petco, I'm not sure about. Sam's Club, I've heard just cancels all your orders. 
So there's a few in here that I am pretty interested. Uh, Webstron, I'm, I'm pretty interested in. I, I've said that on a video before. But I, I would just like to really test a lot of these. And I don't want to test them on Amazon. So I think I'm going to end up testing them on, on eBay first and see how like reliable they are and then go from that go from there so I don't end up screwing myself but it since I when I first started looking at web scraper app when I I think I started looking into Amazon dropshipping in about May and May 2018 and I there was not even close to this many so they're uploading new suppliers all the time other great thing about it is they're coming out with two pretty big updates uh, sometime in the next month or so one's called velo scraper and it's gonna be cheaper if you already have access to web scraper app but if you don't then you can also get it for a higher price a month and that's gonna be like a scraping type thing where you put in a URL for Walmart or whatever supplier and it's gonna scrape it and it's gonna compare the pictures and see if there's a pop possible profit margin and if there is then I think you can just automatically upload it onto Amazon which seems really awesome Uploading items onto Amazon is awesome. You don't have to worry about the title. You don't have to worry about the pictures. You're just basically piggybacking onto listings that have already been made for you. So that's what, that's the one thing I can say about it. It's, it's pretty fucking great. And so, oh, what was the other update? They're also going to bring in eBay. So you can also maybe list, I know you can do it. And once it gets up there, you can list like a Walmart item from onto Amazon and onto eBay and have different just types of repricing strategies for it or, you know, break even points. And I think that's going to be pretty awesome if you want to get into some weird, not weird, but I guess different from the mainstream Amazon, Walmart, Home Depot type thing and do that on eBay and Amazon as well. So, I mean, that's about it for this video about Web Scraper app. Like I said, if you guys are interested in this, I do have 30% off coupon. There is tons of training videos. I forgot to mention that. If you go back to Web Scraper app right here and you click on support, once you have an account, there's tons of training videos already in there on how to get everything set up and how to just really work Amazon in general. Like Ron has a bunch of one hour long just like webinars, I guess you would call them, where he, he's training some people on it. And you can just watch them. And that's how I got, that's how basically how I really did get started. So like I said, I was going to opt into, I was going to pause the video and then show my Amazon results. So I guess I'll, I'll do that now. So I'm going to pause the video. So before I do show you guys, or welcome back everybody, before I do show you guys the, just my results for the last 30 days, I did just post this in my Facebook group. So if you're not in the, the free Facebook group, you're missing out on other free content that I put out there and you're missing out on it in real time. So this is one of the profits that I made. It's over 10%. That's just on the front end. There's, there's no cash back yet on that. I think I'd probably get about three or something more percent cash back from that. So nothing really big, but that's like 14% profit altogether. So that's one of my results so far. That was a smaller one. This is a pretty large profit. And basically what was happening here was that it was repricing it from this, from a um, shipped and sold by Walmart, but I checked another item and it was shipped and sold by another third party, whatever. And they had the same return policy, they had the same shipping time and everything as Walmart, but it was $30 cheaper. So I ended up making a pretty large profit on the front end of this one. And with cash back, it's gonna be a lot higher than that. And after that, this was just a regular old, regular just sale. There was no, there's nothing good about a third party seller or anything like that. And this was a, pretty large profit margin. I have no idea how I got this margin because I remember I had sold this item the other day and or like eight times the other day. I was definitely in the buy box for that and I was only selling it for like a $10 profit. So I'm not really sure how that happened. The price could have changed and lowered after I sold it or something. So that being said, this is my results for the last 30 days. Like, like I said, I shut off the account for about five days. I started on the 12th. So it hasn't even been a full month. And I'm at almost $6,000 altogether, almost $1,000 today. I've had two days that were basically $1,000. So two of two days were basically one third of my entire sales. But I, I, I've been messing around with the profit margins a bit on informed. And I think I found one that's, that's right for me at the moment. And also I, I've only, I only have like, I, it says back on the other, the other, um, inventory page that I only have 93 items that are okay, that, that, that are active. So there's really not that much. And one thing I can say that I, that I really has helped me with this is that I hired a VA right off the bat. And I'm always a big advocate of the virtual assistants, like I said, and I hired a VA right away. I knew that I was not going to want to do anything. I did not want to source these items, did not want to find these items by myself. I do not have the time for that. I barely have the time to manage this on my own at the moment before, because I, I haven't really taught VAs how to actually order and do anything like that. I've just been doing it on my own. It's only been 60 units. It's really not that hard, but it's definitely, the time is adding up. And 
that being said, there is a virtual assistant course that I did put out recently. It's only $99 at the moment, and it's going to teach you all the things that you need to have results like this without having to put very much work in. I made her two videos. Two videos is what I made this virtual assistant. She contacted me on Facebook. I made her two videos, gave her a little trial run. Once she passed, I hired her, and I didn't even – she worked on her own while I was just barely paying. I was just paying her every, every time she hit me up, but I hadn't talked to her for like two months. I came back and I had 700 items sourced. I don't know if, I didn't know if they were good. Didn't know if they were bad. I checked them. I mean, she was messing up a little bit, but I, I really didn't pay any attention to what she was doing for literally two months. And I paid her some amount of money. I forget. It wasn't a lot. And she sourced all these items for me. I've only listed 93 or a hundred and something of them. Only 93 of them are active. So I've listed about one tenth of the items that she so that she sourced for me over the last two months all of which all, all happened in the background while I wasn't even paying attention to Amazon at all. And I just decided to spend one night, go through some of these items and list them on my own. And these are my results. So I can't really be happier with how it's going so far. I know that there's a lot of mistakes and possible issues that could happen. I'm going to bring someone on to my channel in the next hopefully week or two to teach you guys a little bit more about Amazon dropshipping. And she also did just release a course as well. So that's going to be pretty interesting. And I've been looking at her course and it's pretty good. So if you guys are interested in web scraper app, hit me up. If you have any more questions, um, I, it is 30% off for you guys for what I do believe is a year. And if you are interested in the VA course, the price is going to go up soon. It's not going to stay at $99. There's way too much information in there for it to stay at $99. We're thinking about raising it to 147, but we want to give the, the early action people just access into getting it. And you know, the people that really want to take action. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you see it as a breath of fresh air. I guess that it's something other than eBay drop shipping. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.